Next up in our arsenal is the horizontal and vertical measuring tool. This tool is usually used when dealing with multiple objects, for example, a number of apples on a table. We'll begin by tackling these four spheres. You can start with any one of the spheres, really, but in this case we'll begin drawing the first circle somewhere on the left side of our paper. That would be circle A. This circle can be any size, depending on how large you want your drawing to be. Before we start, it should be noted that our three measuring tools are meant to be used in conjunction with each other, and that they're rarely used by themselves. In this case, we'll also be using our proportion measuring tool to figure out the distances between the spheres. To use the horizontal and vertical alignment tool, it's very important to have the objects you're drawing directly above your drawing board. So I have the circles I'm about to draw directly above my board. First thing I'm going to do is draw a circle. So here's our first circle. Don't worry about making it perfect. Uh, we'll work on drawing circles later. I'll show you all a bunch of tricks. Just do your best with the skills you have at the moment to draw a circle. That's going to be circle A. In order to draw circle B, the first thing I need to do is use my proportion measuring tool to figure out the distance between the right side of circle A and the left side of circle B. So I'm going to use my proportion measuring tool line up the tip of my pencil with one side of circle A, slide my thumb back until it lines up with the left side of, excuse me, the right side of circle A. Okay, so I've just taken measurement of circle A. Now I'm gonna move my arm over so that the tip of my pencil is where my thumbnail used to be. Now, look down, look at where your thumbnail is now. Do you see that circle B starts right at the thumbnail? What does that tell you? That tells you that the distance between circle A and circle B is exactly the length, the width of one circle. All right, so how do we use this information? Here's our circle. We're going to use our pencil, line your tip with one side of circle A, your thumbnail with the other side of circle A, then move your arm over and remember that spot. Remember that spot, mark it off. The distance here and the distance here should be the same. All right, so now we know exactly where circle B is gonna start. Really lightly indicate a little line. That's gonna help us place our circle. Now we're gonna use the horizontal alignment tool to figure out how much further down circle B is relative to circle A. You're going to hold your pencil horizontal. This is the horizontal alignment tool. Line it up with the top of circle B. So my pencil is lined up with the top of circle B. You can use the top of the pencil or the bottom of the pencil, not terribly important. Notice that my pencil runs exactly halfway through circle A when I line it up with the top of circle B. What does that say? That tells me that circle B starts at the halfway point of circle A. So what I need to do is draw a line through the middle of circle A, like this. Extend it out, 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 out. Now I know where the top of circle B is and where the left side of circle B is. Now all I need to do is take the distance of circle A at the halfway point, and I can now mark off exactly where circle B needs to be. I'm going to indicate a little square like this, and now I can use that square to sketch in circle B. Sorry, I'm drawing through my phone right now, so my drawings are a little bit crude. Okay, so here is circle B. Now that we have circle B, let's deal with circle C. Once again, we're going to use the proportion measuring tool to figure out how much further away circle C is from circle B. I'm going to measure the distance between my two circles, so tip my pencil lines up with the right side of circle B, and my thumbnail lines up with the left side of circle C. This is a smaller increment. When you're doing the proportion measuring tool, always measure the smaller increment into the larger. So in this case, if I see the distance between these circles 
is shorter than the circle itself, I'm going to start off by first measuring the space between the circles and see how it relates to circle B. Notice that the distance between the circles is exactly half the width of the circle, maybe a little bit more. It looks like it's about half. All right, so what does that tell us? That tells us that if I find half the width of circle B and then carry it over and mark off the spot right here, so these two distances should be about the same, then circle C is going to start right about here along this line, like this. Now we're ready to use our horizontal alignment tool to figure out how much further up circle, it, circle C is relative to circle B. We're going to use our horizontal alignment tool in this case. Line up your pencil with the bottom of circle C and notice that it intersects not quite in the middle, in the upper third of circle B. Do you see that? Look where my pencil runs. So I'm going to move my pencil over and I notice that circle C runs right about here against circle B. I'm going to draw a horizontal line. Again, I'm drawing through my phone. My lines might be a little bit crooked. Let's see. Yeah, it is crooked. Okay, so now I know that circle C needs to fit right here. Let's take the width of circle B. Since circles have the same height and width, we can mark off a little square here and here. And now we're going to use that square to sketch in our third circle. Circle C. Okay, now that we dealt with circle C, let's tackle circle D. Now that I have a number of things drawn, I have a number of different methods I can use to figure out the location of circle D. So I can use circle A to figure out where circle D is, or I can use circle C, it is possible. Um, which method you use is really up to you. I'm gonna use circle B to figure out where circle D is. The first thing I'm gonna do is figure out the distance between circle D and circle B. Now I'm gonna use my proportion measuring tool line up my pencil, in this case my pencil is vertical, Took my pencil goes to the top of circle B, thumbnail slides to the bottom, then I move up and I notice that the distance between circle B and circle D is about one circle. So let's use that. So I'm holding the camera with one phone so I'm not able to use my other hand. Normally I'd use my hand calipers, but I can mark off that spot like that, so these two distances need to be the same, like so. Okay, so now I know that circle D sits somewhere along this horizontal line. Now I'm gonna use, instead of a horizontal alignment tool, a vertical alignment tool to figure out how much further to the left circle D is from circle B. I'm gonna hold my pencil vertical, line it up with the left side of circle B, and then I notice that my pencil runs a little bit off the right side of circle D. Just a little tiny bit. That's going to be where exactly? Well, right about here, like this. So now I'm gonna draw a line going up, like that. And now I know that circle D is gonna sit right about here. So now I'm going to take the width of any one of the circles because all the circles are the same width. Carry it over. There's the width of circle D. We can use that to get the height. Here's the height. Draw a little square. And then use that little square to Place your circle. So that's how the horizontal and vertical alignment tool works. This tool is 
usually used in conjunction with your other tools. Uh, so in most of your drawing efforts, you're gonna be using more than one measuring technique, using more than one object to measure against. And again, the more objects you have, this might seem counterintuitive, but the easier it is to draw the objects correctly because you start having access to way more different measuring methods. I can use an angle measuring tool, I can use a proportion measuring tool, or I can quite often use two, three methods at the same time to cross-check to make sure that my drawing is correct. Now that you understand how the horizontal and vertical alignment tool works, you'll have to practice it over and over again until you're able to use this tool accurately. Here's the worksheet I'd like you to practice from. Once again, you have two options. Either print it out in the largest format possible, tape it to a vertical surface and draw from it, or if your computer screen is large enough, display the image on your computer and draw from that.